breaking news today. Uh, the BBC broke it. Uh, Joey, if you want to let them know, or Andres, let them know in the back. But here's basically what's happened today. Andrew, Ch Andrew Tate and his brother Tristan, formerly charged with rape and human trafficking. Yes. Uh, scroll down here, uh, if you can. Um, this is, ironically, written by the one and only oh, Lucy wow. Williamson <laughs> with her friend George Wright. Lucy Williamson, famous wow. for the hit piece they did uh, when the BBC was so kind enough to enter um, the Tate compound and do the interview with them. And um, she wrote this piece for the BBC. Controversial, controversial influencer Andrew Tate has been charged with, in Romania with rape, human trafficking, and forming an organized crime group to sexually exploit women. His brother Tristan and two associates also face charges and have all denied allegations. Tate brothers were first arrested in Bucharest in December. In March, they were moved from custody to house arrest following a ruling by a Romanian judge. Just one, just one judge, by the way. No, no jury, no jury of your peers. That's not the way that it works in Romania. Weird system they got there. Um, the indictment deposited with the uh, Bucharest court says that the four defendants formed an organized criminal group in 2021 to commit human trafficking in Romania, but also other countries, including the U.S. and the U.K., and named seven alleged victims who were also who were recruited by the Tate brothers through false promises of love and marriage. So, 14-month wow. investigation. The 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 Formal charges are rape and human trafficking. Um, in my opinion, the case is very weak. We did the interview with, with, with Andrew, then we did the five hour interview. 45 minutes of it were omitted, mm -hmm. censored, because it was revol uh, revolving around their case. Mm -hmm. And uh, that will be um, distributed at a later date. Mm -hmm. um, and then we did an hour and a half with Tristan. We were treated royally, had a great time. Uh, I said that they were very hospitable. We had lunch. We basically spent the entire day from sun up to sun down to midnight at the compound, interviewing, getting to know each other, uh, smoking cigars, having cocktails. Tristan and I finished, I think, a half a bottle of Johnny Blue wow. by the time the night was over. Andrew and I were smoking the hookah. <laughs> other people were smoking cigars. It was a great time. Um, but at the same time, we weren't like there to do a friendly kumbaya interview. We asked them hard questions. They answer hard questions. Yeah. But at the same time, we didn't do a hit piece. We didn't do what Lucy's doing over here, yeah. basically pretending to be their friend, coming into their compound, and then boom, being like, so you're a raper. Yeah. Uh, you know, Yikes. like, um, so in my opinion, the case is very weak. The evidence is certainly very weak. Um, they've been held six months with no charges. Finally, they um, formalized charges today. Uh, in my opinion, this is just a complete shakedown. This is a matrix, politically motivated attack. Uh, why? Because they probably have hundreds of millions of dollars that they've accumulated in wealth, mm -hmm. whatever the number is, cars, vehicles, the house, the compound, assets, crypto, all seized. And at the end of the day, I asked Tate, I said, what do you think is gonna happen here? Because he put out a tweet basically asking the audience what do you think is going to happen to me? Are they going to just drop the charges? Mm -hmm. Are they going to formalize charges? Are they going to basically uh, save face and, and um, try to incriminate me with a lesser charge? Uh, and at the end of the day, he said, this is a shakedown. They're, they're going to charge me with something because you can't lock someone up in prison for six months and be like, no, you're good, brah. So this, this was coming. He knew this was coming. He predicted this was coming. Um, uh, in any interview, he said this is basically what he, he suspected them to happen. But um, sad situation where uh, they're just basically reaching out to thousands of people, trying, looking, bribing in some cases, people to come out and speak against the Tates. And they found a handful of people that have not come forward publicly. Um, some may say they've been bought off. And um, now they have a handful, they said seven people, seven victims. Um, who allegedly were, quote unquote, human trafficked, raped. So we'll see. We'll see if they get a fair trial. You guys let me know if you guys think they're going to actually receive mm. a fair trial or a fair verdict from the judge. My opinion, strictly my opinion, complete shakedown. They'll yeah. be exonerated of all their crimes, but they'll have to pay a, um, a heavy fine. And then Tate will basically be like, so this was just a money play. You know, this was just a shakedown mm. to basically steal my freaking money charge me with tax evasion, whatever it ends up being, and now you pay a fine, you, you um, slap on the wrist, let's see, and um, just take my money. Wow. So, um, very interesting. So, um, 
With that being said, that's that's the article that just basically broke in the news today. You guys, yeah. I mean, a lot of people that follow our content understand that we um, not only are we friends with these guys, fans of their content, but we empathize with the plight that they're dealing with mm -hmm. about being basically locked up, thrown in jail, and being accused of things that you never did. Uh, but hopefully, hopefully, uh, you know, they say that uh, ML MLK said that justice um, bends in the art. Uh, History bends in the arc of justice, mm -hmm. uh, so we'll see if that actually formalizes yeah. and takes place. By and the way, what'd you think of the interview? Of which the Andrew case? and Tristan, yeah. Oh, I loved it. I thought it was a pers I thought everybody got to see, especially because you guys did the interview prior, so everybody got to kind of see Tate when Tate became Tate, and then now the post, right? And then you also see the role that his brother played. I actually got kind of emotional when I when they talked about each other's brotherhood because mm -hmm. you know that level of understanding you know in a world where it feels like sometimes everybody's against you so to have that level of understanding and you know that commitment with each other it's it's beautiful it's like the definition of what a family is mm -hmm. um, so I thought it was a great perspective and I do want to say, if you guys watched PBD podcast this morning, I watch all the podcasts. Um, Pat said something really key. He said, "Now the lawyers will get to work." Yep. And now we will get to see who will, you know, uh, bring out the truth, and the facts will come out. And I'm, I look forward to it. I think this is a great learning experience for the world. I think this is a great learning experience for the people, you know, who are part of the Tate community and that whole, you know, this whole generation. Um, but at the end of the day, I think a fair trial is deserved for everybody going through any, uh, you know type of issues, um, but I'm excited to see what happens. I think this is a great experience for us to see. I think it's terrible what they're going through. I can't imagine and the things they go through, um, but I loved to see, there was something about, you know how people say like there's, people have like a smile and like people smile. It's not they're just their teeth, it's mm -hmm. like a smile. And I think throughout the interview we got to see like Tate feel like a smile of like a genuine, like this is who I am. I feel comfortable in the space. I want to talk. Um, and I think it's very, very few places people feel a platform where they can really be honest and share. Um, and I love to see the interaction between you guys. You know, yeah, I think you that's can't a fake great, who you are yes. over a five hour podcast. Oh you can my do God. it yes. on a five minute quick little clip. Uh, you can pretend to be someone else, mm -hmm. uh, but you get a feel for someone after 12 hours. Yeah being in their house, being in their compound, how they treat the staff, how they, pe how they treat the people serving the food, how they treat the girls over there. Hey, hey, would you please bring me this? How they treat their brothers, how they treat us. Mm -hmm. uh, you can't fake that kind of stuff. It was like watching an inner, like a man's man. You know when people say like, oh, that's a man's man? Yeah. Watching all of the dynamics, each role that you guys played, the, the interaction, it was like watching like a man's man podcast. Man's and man it was, podcast. It was awesome. I there felt so like... This is like power, this is strength, this is, you know, something that's really gonna, it's gonna be history. Um, so I'm, you know, excited for you to, you know, through your process and your journey through that because that's also a, Thank you. a process for you too. So um, anyway, that's just sort of the uh, overdraft of basically what's happening, your overview of what we're gonna be discussing today. So that's what, it, what literally came down the pike today. It's so funny how we talk about timing. Yep. Uh, the day that we get back, our first podcast back, that's the, f the story that breaks this morning. Mm -hmm. Tate formally charged um, by the Romanian court. So if you like that clip, click right here to watch another. Or if you want to watch the entire Sauzcast, click right here.